like how it's animations. called the Royals Report. Like it's super <laughs> it's serious. It's very serious. New animations, new segments. We are launching a new segment called the Royals Report. Every Wednesday, we will be checking in with our partners at BBC News to find out more about what is happening among the Royal set. And today, we are starting with the littlest Royal, Archie. He had a very special day yesterday because he got to meet his aunt and uncle, Prince William and Duchess Kate. We've yet to see pictures from that meeting, but in Oxford yesterday, new dad Prince Harry told reporters he can't imagine life without his son. So for more on this, we're joined by BBC Royal correspondent Sarah Campbell from our partners at the BBC for the very first of our Royal reports. So Sarah, uh, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are doing their very best to keep Archie kind of out of the media spotlight. Uh, we've only really seen a picture of his feet on Instagram <laughs> um, and, a, and a wee little bit of his face when they sort of debuted him. Um, give us a sense of just how much they are breaking with tradition by keeping the media at bay. Yeah, hello. Um, I think you're absolutely right. They're sort of doing things differently to what we've seen before, certainly with his older brother, Prince William and Catherine. So, for example, the name Archie Harrison, which in itself is breaking with royal tradition, no title, so he's not Prince Archie, it's just Archie. That was announced first on Instagram. You've already said there that uh, Meghan made the post uh, on Instagram's their Sussex Royal account uh, on Mother's Day. Uh, and again, you know, this was something that we wouldn't normally have expected so definitely breaking the tradition but they've been doing that throughout I think with the royal birth it was very clear that Prince Harry and Meghan wanted to if you like control the way the world found out about their baby so we didn't know beforehand whether it was going to be a home birth or a hospital birth we still don't know actually where the baby was born we didn't know that Prince Harry was going to come out and give that lovely or initial press conference that live press statement um, it just seemed that whatever was planned beforehand he was just so excited about the baby that he wanted to tell the world something in common with lots of new parents uh, I think um, and since then I think you know they we had to wait a couple of days but then again in a very controlled way inside Windsor Castle with a very select number of, uh, of cameramen and women they showed off their baby they said what they wanted to do um, and then went back inside but it's also quite interesting although they wanted to control it in a way we know more about baby Archie than we did about Prince George or Charlotte or Louis because we just had that brief shot on the hospital steps and then they were inside and away. So actually, we kind of know quite a lot about him. Mm. Mm. Um, so Sarah, we know that um, Archie met his great grandmother, the Queen, and Prince Philip last week. And yesterday, of course, he met his uncle William and uh, Kate. But I'm curious, given uh, that, you know, the times have changed, um, Her Majesty the Queen would have been very involved in uh, the birth of Prince William and Prince Harry and how uh, Prince Charles and Princess Diana presented them to the world. Is she as involved um, when it comes to Harry's children and even in when it comes to uh, William and Kate's? Well, you mean involved in terms of how it went on? I mean, yeah. I think Prince Harry, I think Prince Harry and Meghan are very much their own people. I'm sure that they always have respect for the Queen. She is the head of the royal family, and so anything that would be felt that she wouldn't have approved of, I'm sure wouldn't have happened. But it was a lovely, lovely picture that was released. It was released at the same time uh, as his name was released, and that lovely picture of the Queen beaming, the Duke of Edinburgh beaming. We don't see very much of him since he retired and of course Doria Ragland Meghan's mother there in the picture as well so that was a really special I think important picture for where the royal family is at the moment and as you say um, Uncle William and Auntie Catherine will have uh, seen their new uh, niece uh, yesterday and no doubt imparted some sort of parental advice. William already said as soon as the name, uh, as soon as it was announced that this baby had been born, said, you know, he was welcoming Harry to the Sleep Deprivation Society, <laughs> something I'm sure all new parents can empathize with. That's true. Though somehow I think it's going to be a little a easier. A little easier when them. you've got a lot of people waiting yeah, on you hand and foot when you're here and there. <laughs> and nannies. But yes, yes, I can imagine. Uh, Sarah, thank you so much. Thanks, Sarah.